Violet Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And today I'm going to show you something that is not new. Um, I actually showed you something like this um, a week or so ago doing the circle shakers. But I started to make tags because I've had several people ask me about um, doing tags. And I decided I was going to turn one into a shaker and it kind of spiraled from there. But these are just the absolute cutest. They are super easy to make. And um, pretty much, I'm just going to show you, we're going to do them the same way we did shakers. So I did cut out tags on my Cricut um, so that I could just pick different sizes. But you could use a metal die. You could literally just use a scrap of paper and just trim your edges and take a hole punch and punch a hole and voila, you have a tag. So, um, if you don't have a machine, don't let that keep you from, from making one. So, um, pretty much I'm just going to take my metal die cut machine, um, to punch a hole in these pretty much, um, with whatever shape I want. But again, if you don't have a machine, you can take your tag. You can also take whatever shape you want, um, you could draw it out, you could do a circle or whatever and just trace it on onto one. You'll need two tags. Um, trace it onto it and then just take your scissors and cut it out. And then you have a window. Um, and you know, you could do whatever. A star, a heart, you know, whatever shape you wanted. Um, but I am going to use my, my machine. Um, I just have this janky one from the, the Walmart because I've, I've used a Cricut ever since they came out, but then I started seeing all these cute metal dies everywhere and I was like, ooh, I want to do that too. So I got one. Um, and I got these little heart dies on Timu, um, and I love using them. Um, but I'm just going to place these on here the way I want them to be cut out. And it'll cut out completely, but then we're going to also use the negative to replace it back. So. Okay. Hopefully it cut all the way through. Sometimes I have to put a shim on here, um, just to get it to cut all the way through. Um, I might have to do that. I might have to cut two more of these. Well, this one might be okay. It got all the pieces out. Because we need these out so that we can see through it to see our shaker materials. Um... Ah. Okay. I'm going to have to recut that one because I'll use a little bit thinner paper. Okay, I'm going to lay my tag to the side and I'm just going to cut this real quick so that I will have it to use. <clears throat> I think I'll just cut them both since that one is a little bit iffy. Let's see. Let's get a piece of paper and put on here. So it'll cut it all the way through. good that cut all the way through okay so we're done with this now move it all the way okay now you can do lots of different things like I showed you on the the circle shaker I'll link it below also but um you know you can use foam as your center um to 
put behind it. You can use um, foam tape. You can cut out a lot of the exact same thing and just stack it up so that you got a big thing of paper to hold your your stuff in. Um, but I'm going to use foam tape today. And I'm actually going to use this thin one. It's just from the Dollar Tree. I like using it because you get three different sizes, uh, three different widths in the package for $1.25. Um, but I also like using just old page protectors, um, packaging, whatever I can find um, for my window part. And I'm just going to cut a piece off of this. This is just about the right size. I might have to trim it a little bit. But you can get lots of these um, windows with just one page protector. Okay. So... Before I add this window, I wanted to color the front of my um, tag. And this time I am, I'm going to put this under so I don't have to clean up a big mess. I'm going to do it in different colors. I wanted to do it more of like a sunset, I don't know, type thing. But I'm going to just start out with some purple. I'm just using my blending brushes. I got these on Timo too. Really cheap, like six bucks or something for like a pack of I think 10 or 12 of them but um I just want to blend this a little bit and I like to kind of try to blend them into each other and then I'm gonna do pink and then I'm going to do yellow Okay, so then, ain't that pretty? <laughs> it makes me want to try to find a way to use it. Okay, so now I have my, um, the tag part done, the coloring and all that stuff done. So I'm just going to, now if I wanted to add, um, little splatters like I did on this one, um, now would be the time to do that. And maybe I will do that. Let's see if I can get my, my white splatters open. Because it's usually a, a challenge. I'm usually not strong enough. And I have to get my husband or my son to do it. Because every time I open it, it's like it glues it glues back. I'll just splatter this on a little bit. Now, I have used watered down paint which I like. That's what I still use for my black. But I got this one. Um, it's like Dina or Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray. But you can also use watered down white paint. Um, whatever color splatters you want. Um, so, very easy. Sorry, I'm trying to get a paper towel to clean up my mess. Okay. I'm going to wipe some of this up, and I'm just going to do this so I don't have to wait for it to dry. And voila, it still has white splatters. But now I don't have to wait for the dry time. Okay, so then pretty much you're going to add your um, your window. Your, you can use acetate. Um, I've about used up all I have. I need to order some more. I need a, I need a place, I need to find a place where I can get acetate cheap. Where do you guys get it? Like, if you use it. Um, last time I ordered on Amazon and I only got like, I think six, six sheets or something like that. And it was like $15. So, I'm positive that in the past I have got it a lot cheaper than that. Um, I used to use transparencies. I think that's what they're called. Like, um, you know, back in the day on the projectors, 
Um, they would, you know, it would be have words printed on it and they'd project it up on the wall for everybody to follow along. Um, I used to have a whole box of those and I, I used them up or something, but that has been years and years ago. Um, so let me know where y'all get acetate, preferably in a bigger pack at a good price. But I'm just as happy using this stuff for the most part. Um, I did use tacky glue to tack it down because if I use my regular glue, it doesn't stick. Um, a lot of times I will use my, um, just my double-sided tape. Um, but it's also time-consuming to go around all the little pieces. So it's just as easy for me to use the, the tacky glue and it does the job okay and then I'm just gonna trim this off okay so now I have my window created and so now I'm going to add my foam tape now this is where you could add foam sheets but it would have to be cut through so that you could still see the window you could add pieces of foam as long as you have the the whole thing blocked in because it's gonna contain your glitter for you like I said pieces of paper if you have time to which it's a little bit harder if you're gonna cut out um, randomly um, it makes it a little bit harder to um, do the whole paper build up technique where you know you're cutting the exact same thing 500 million times <laughs> not really but um for real like you know usually eight five to eight layers to get it built up good so that you can put some chunky stuff in there for your shaker um some people would measure these and say okay i need a piece of tape this long but that is not me so I'll just guesstimate. Sometimes I'll put a bunch of little bitty pieces. But that looks like it has it. Okay. So then um, you're going to want your filler. So I have um, all of these little filler um, things that I have shown before. That I bought at um, Dollar Tree for $3.00. I recently got this one. It has uh, glitter in it, chunky glitter and small fine glitter and all that in it. But then these little shapes um, are wonderful. They come, sorry if there's a glare, they come in different um, color families. And I love them. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of all the different colors in it since... Um, it has all the colors on the front since we use blue purple yellow and pink so let's see here and I just sprinkle them in until I think it's looking kind of full um, because of course it'll all fall to the bottom and I like a little bit of it to still show through um, let's see let's put some butterflies in it Okay, they're all sticking to my hand. I do have a one of them. Um, I think I can't remember what it's called, a de-staticer thing that you can rub, and it'll take away all the static so that stuff doesn't stick and all that. But I kind of like whenever it sticks on the front so that it shows up. Um, and you can just see it. Okay. Get off my fingers. Um, I think I'll put a little bit of this blue and purple one in it. Also, um, let me see if I can find it real quick. I got these. They don't really match what I'm doing. But I got these off of Timu also. Um, I don't remember if I showed y'all these before or not. But, um, it's little bitty 
the little pieces. Um, and these are expensive, you know, in other places. But on Timu, I mean, they was probably like 50 cents a pack or something. So, um, they're super cute to put in shakers. You can use them like little enamel dots on your page. So, lots, lots of options. Okay, let me put a little bit of blue in there. And I think I'll put one more round of purple. I do like to sometimes use um, chunky glitter that I have. I have a, a huge collection of, um, of glitter because I used to do tumblers way back when. But uh, not so much in the past couple of years. Um, this is just some clear glitter. I'll fill it in. Okay, so now you got to be very careful pulling this off so that it doesn't flip everything off onto the tape or out on the table. Let's see here. It always ends up getting stuck to my fingernail. And then guess what? A glitter explosion happens. But I do love glitter, so. Okay. So then you're just going to take your tag, the exact same shape. And um, if you didn't cut them out and have two of them on Cricut, um, like I said, you could just trace around the first one so that it lines up exactly the way you cut your lines or whatever. Um, so you could do one with rounded edges also. Um, I did these with rounded edges, but I cut them out on the Cricut. But then on for the back piece, I just traced it so I could have a pattern paper inside of my window. Okay, so here's the basic shaker. We've got it done. So then pretty much all you're going to do is you're going to add um, your ribbon to it, flowers, um you know, a little saying, whatever. Um, I just use stickers on these. Um, hopefully it's in the camera. But um, on this, we're going to take these that we cut out and put them back in. I don't remember which one I did on bottom. I don't know. Maybe they're the same size. Nope, this one definitely goes here. Okay, so pretty much... Um, I like to just add tacky glue on the back of them, and even if it looks a little, you know, you just got to be careful with it because it does come out thick and it likes to smudge, but I try to just be careful and then let it dry and you can always go back in with a um, glue eraser and get it off or once it dries you can take your fingernail and just scrape it off. I try not to mess with it while it's wet because I feel like it just makes an even bigger mess. My tacky glue is so tacky it won't come out. Which is good because it gives you a good hold. Um, let's see here. Ah! And of course I'll drop it so I'm going to have glue everywhere probably. And pretty much just smush her down. And I did get a little bit of glue on there. I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to do this one. And you can see a little bit of the foam tape. And I mean, you should keep that in mind when you're cutting through. Because, um, you know, you can get thinner foam tape. But that one's pretty thin. I don't know. I don't know how big it actually is. But... I'm not a, a measurements person. I just like to be as surprised by everybody else with what happens. <laughs> and fly by the seat of my pants. 
Okay. That might hold it on. I'm trying to at least get it on all the sides. Okay. So pretty much. Well, that helps cover up the foam tape. So that's good. But you can still see the glitter um, through it. So I like that. Okay. So then you just decide if you want to add anything else. Um, I was trying to think of what I have. I might have some purple purple twine maybe. I still got pink. Um, I have pink here on my table that I've been using. Um, let's see if I can find purple. Sorry for my squeaky chair, y'all. It's new, but it needs to have a good oil one. I'm waiting on my husband to be off work one day so he can take care of that for me because it's a pretty big chair. My kids said they can't take me seriously in it because it looks like a judge's chair. Like it's a big old fancy one. But it's a rolling office chair so I was very excited about it. Um, one of my friends gave it to me for free which is my favorite. Um... So anyways, um, I'm just going to run this through like this and use purple and pink and then I'm just going to tie a knot off in it so it don't come undone. Maybe. It's pretty thick with four strands. Okay. I like that. Okay, so then, you know, if you want to add anything else, you could put a sentiment on it. You could put, you know, a little butterfly or whatever. But I kind of like that one the way it is. I want to keep some of them simple so it's not hard to use. Um, so, thank you guys for joining me today. Please do tag me um, on Facebook if y'all decide y'all are going to try these out. I would love to see what y'all create. Thank you for all the responses. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.